Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we'll be doing another landscape painting tutorial and I'm just so excited because it's been a while since the last time I painted my last landscape painting tutorial. So here we go. The colors that we'll be using for today's tutorial are as follows. We have lemon yellow, burnt sienna, titanium white, sap green, uh, primary blue and black so I might use a little bit of red later I'm actually not sure if I'll be using red just to do some orangey color but um, that's why I did not place my red paint on my palette because I'm not really that sure maybe later I will find out but for now let's just sketch first the subject so that we know where things are gonna go and for the sketching I'm just gonna use my ordinary brush any brush will do this is just the sketching part anyway, so we don't have to worry too much about this part. So I'm gonna get my, hmm, for the sketch part, I'm just gonna get my, hmm, okay, I'm gonna get my green and mix it with yellow. I wanna use yellow green color. I don't know, I just want to use yellow green, okay? So you can use any color that you want, but I'm just gonna use yellow green. And I'm gonna divide my paper into almost halves i'm not gonna place it right in the middle i'm just gonna place it right above the middle section so if this is your middle middle section i'm gonna place my horizon right just right above it like that Now I'm just gonna go and proceed to sketch more, some details. We'll be doing a pathway. Like that. And we'll also be doing um, fence. Okay, so basically that's the sketch we'll be adding some trees here and later for now let's just do the sky and for the sky i'm just gonna use a quite big brush i'm gonna wet my brush i'm gonna dab onto my blue and then white make it um sky blue color i'm gonna add a little bit of brown just to tone down the blueness of the color all right and i'm just gonna use it right here Okay, like that. As you can see, only the right side corner uh, is in the blue color. The rest of the sky part will be of different color. So I'm gonna get my, without washing my brush, I'm gonna get my white. I'm gonna add a tiny bit of brown to make it like this color. Maybe a little bit of yellow as well. And this will be part of the sky color. It's almost like a sunset-y color. Okay, I'm gonna add a little bit of white. So you can see I did not wash my brush. I'm just allowing all the pink colors that we had to be visible in the sky part. Okay, I'm gonna extend this color right up to where the blue color is so that I create that cloud-like um, brush strokes 
These are like streaks of clouds. Again, white. I'm just using white and applying that white color randomly in the sky. Okay. All right, just like that. I kind of like it. I kind of like it. All right, now that the sky is fairly done, I might go back to that later. But for now, let's leave it like that and let's proceed to the second part, which is the middle section of the landscape. So for that, I'll be using... I'm going to get my sap green. Okay, I'm going to mix it with black or brown. It's up to you as long as you darken that green color. You can use any of those dark shades, brown or black. We're doing the underpainting, so it's not really a detailed uh, method of doing this. It's more of just identifying where things are going to go. Okay, now I'm going to get my yellow. Mix it brown, so this color, maybe more yellow. And I'm going to color... This part. Maybe I'm gonna do vertical strokes. Again, this is just the underpainting. Don't worry too much about uh, not making any sense while you're doing the underpainting. The underpainting should not make sense at all. I'm doing some vertical brush strokes here so that we create some grass like or yeah grass like um, brush strokes but then again this is the underpainting definitely this is not the final color that we want for the field for the fields i mean all right now i'm gonna get my black so get your black again i'm not really washing my brush i'm gonna mix my green with the black the black will definitely empower the green i mean empower overpower the green but um just make sure it's not really pure black so again i'm doing some vertical brush strokes here to create some Taller grasses. Again, underpainting, don't worry too much. Okay. It definitely is not making sense, right? Okay, now I'm gonna use the same color to underpaint. I'm just gonna wet my brush. I'm gonna underpaint this corner. I'm gonna use some greens all right 
iPad. Let's fill in those spaces that we see on the grass part. Okay, this time I'm gonna get my gray. So I'm gonna mix my black with my white and maybe brown as well. And I just want to create that grayish brownish color. And we're going to apply that right here. Here I go again with the finger painting. All right, now using this gray color, we're going to do the pathway now and using the same gray color, I'm just gonna add more white this time. Okay. Maybe a little bit of brown. Okay, maybe this color. I'm just gonna underpaint the pathway. I think this is too brown, but it's all right. It's the underpainting. It will be covered later. All right, like that. As you can see, I'm adjusting a little bit of spacing here. So I'm gonna get back to my green and brown or black, and I'm gonna cover it. All right, now that we've already underpainted the whole canvas, let's proceed to the most exciting part of this painting that is detailing or highlighting. So I'm gonna use smaller brush. I just adjusted my sitting position <laughs> so I'm gonna get my brown okay my yellow okay I'm gonna add white okay. I'm gonna try this one first if this is what I want for the color okay a little more yellow all right, like that. And look at how I am applying the paint. It's in a vertical position or vertical brush strokes to imitate grasses. You know, the positioning of the grass. They are um, upright, right?
So I'm just doing some up um some vertical brush strokes. I'm just continuing it. Alright, like that. We'll be adding more details later for now. This is allow the paint to dry. Now I'm gonna get my yellow, just pure yellow, and I'm gonna highlight some areas. I'm still doing some vertical brush strokes. And I'm gonna dab onto my green now. Just get your set green. And let's create brush strokes that are similar to the one we just did. Okay, I'm going to add a little bit of green in the background here. Because as you can see, we have some gray underpainting. And I'm just going to add a little bit of green and black colors on top of that gray color to add more shadows or suggestions of shadows before we do some highlights. Okay, I'm gonna get my white or gray color. Get your gray color, mix white and black. Let's start creating some highlighted grasses right here. Okay, like that. Now I'm gonna get my yellow. And right here, I'm just gonna make some suggestions of highlighted grasses.
Okay, now I'm gonna use my fan brush to create more grass-like um, brush strokes. And using my pan brush, I'm gonna dab on to this brownie color that we have. So add yellow and brown, and I'm gonna create more details. And then we'll go back to this area later. And while I'm at it, I'm just gonna use my fan brush to create more details again. Okay, I'm gonna get my green. So make it quite dark. Okay, now I'm gonna get my yellow using my fan brush to create more highlights. Alright, now I'm going to darken some areas, so get your black. So I'm just going to darken some areas right, like that. Okay, now using black, while we're at it, I'm just going to make already those fins. Because I told you guys that we'll be doing some fins today.
right just like that and now i'm gonna use again my black to create that line that connects the fence Just like that. Okay, again, using black, I'm going to create a little bit of a little tree trunk here. Just like that. Okay, I'm gonna get the green color mixed with brown and yellow. Just like this. And let's create the foliage for this tree. I'm just using the tip of my brush to create that foliage like um, brush strokes. We haven't done the detailing for the fence, that's why it looks quite flat. We haven't really done any um, strict detailing as of this moment. This is, I call it, um, like third underpainting portion of this painting tutorial. All right, like that. So that's basically the tree right here. All right. Okay. I'm gonna get my dark green. So I'm gonna get my green and black. And I'm gonna use that to create more shades of green. Okay, now, before we do the pathway, let's just use a more pointy brush. I'm going to get my white. Let's highlight the fence. Okay, for now, this will be the highlights. So just highlight the left side of the fence. Okay, using the same color, let's highlight 
the rope. Right, like that. Okay. Now I'm gonna use my brown mixed with white and yellow. I'm gonna go back to highlighting the fence using this color. So those highlights that we already did will get a little bit of this color but not um, the whole of it I mean not the whole thing so there should be some sort of whiteness still but we're just gonna add a little bit of brownie color Let me just fix some areas because I feel like I highlighted too much. Make sure that the dark side, the dark side is still there. Alright, like that. And using this black, I'm just gonna create more depth. Okay, I'm gonna use this black to cover that space between the pathway and the grassy part. Okay, now I'm gonna get my burnt sienna, burnt sienna, and I'm gonna apply it almost like watercolor, right? Like that. Did you see that? So I'm just gonna apply it this way. By doing this, I am able to create that natural look on the pathway. I'm not giving it super well blended colors because I don't like well blended colors especially when I'm painting nature it's not it doesn't look natural to me okay so I'm also allowing um, the black paint to be there it's okay makes my painting look more natural And as you can see, I'm always using my fingers when I'm painting nature. I don't know if I have ever done any painting wherein I did not use my hands directly on the canvas. I'm not sure if there is one. All right, by doing that, as you can see, I already made the pathway look more natural, which I am quite happy about. So now I'm going to switch to a lighter color. I'm going to add white. And using this white, I'm just gonna apply it this way. Again, similar to the way I applied brownie paint, using a lot of water to allow 
the paint to spread on the canvas without giving it that super structured look. Here as well. I'm gonna get my brown and black mixture just to apply it once more some black to suggest depth and rocks it could be anything on the road that is not paved I might use my palette knife to give it more rustic look later Okay, now let's switch to using again our pen brush. So I'm gonna get my yellow and green. As you can see, it's already here. Okay, I have it ready. I'm gonna mix a little bit of brown just to tone the yellow, the yellowness down. I don't want it too super yellow. I want it just natural. So I'm gonna use this to create some grass-like patterns. Make sure that you do it quite randomly, meaning your grasses should go in different direction, not in just one direction, because grasses really grow in different direction. They don't just go left or right, unless there is wind, maybe. But even if there's wind, I don't think they really go in one direction, if you know what I mean. Okay, I'm going to add a little bit of green here. Okay. Just a little bit because we want the distant grasses to appear more yellow than green. So just apply minimal amount of green very minimal remember to always make the background or the distant uh, grasses a little more green than the foreground grasses Okay, I'm gonna use my black to create more depth. Okay, now I'm gonna wash my brush out. Definitely, we need more detailing right here on the foreground grasses. So I'm gonna dab onto my white. And in the same manner, just apply some grasses. 
These grasses are not really white. They appear more white because of the light. They don't really look this way. Only when there is light. Okay, more highlights. Okay. Now I want to add more branches okay and let's do another like distant trees Okay, I'm gonna use some yellow browns on the trees because it's being hit by the sunlight so it should give off that yellowness effect on the trees even if the tree is actually green like that and then black to add more depth okay now let's color the distant trees Let me check. All right.
Okay. Now I'm going to use my... Okay, before we do the palette knife, I'm going to go and fix the sky. Because even if the sky is alright, I'm just going to brighten it up a bit. I'm going to use white. Actually, it is mixed with blue. And it's alright. I'm just going to brighten more the left side of the sky to emphasize even more that the sky is bright or there is some light source on the left side and of course I'm gonna uh, erase that um, sketch line that we had when we were sketching the subject I need more yellow because I already ran out of yellow. Okay, now let's get our palette knives ready. Okay, I'm gonna get my palette knife and I'm gonna go and fix the road. I'm gonna dab onto my white and brown and black. Maybe this or maybe more white and brown it's grayish brown I'm gonna use that to make the pathway look more rustic So just apply it like butter. I'm gonna get my black. Okay, and I'm gonna apply the same way. So it's looking more rustic, right? Okay. I'm gonna get my black. And I just want to add more depth. Then some greens. Okay. I'm using yellow. I'm going to highlight the grasses. I'm going to highlight the left side of this tree more yellow. Also here, the grass part, I'm going to make it more yellow. On the left side, okay, I'm not going to touch the left side, the right side anymore. Just to make this appear more highlighted okay. 
1995. Okay, I'm gonna make it more browny. So I'm gonna get my yellow plus brown and maybe white to give it that creamy um, color. Okay. I'm gonna use this again, just on the left side. Oops, that's too thick. So even if it's not too highlighted, the right side, I will give it some sort of light as well by applying the same color on the distant grasses that are located on the right side. Okay, I'm gonna get my brown. Okay, that's too milky brown. We just want the brown color. I'm gonna randomly apply that browny color on the bottom or on the ground to make it more soily looking. let me check okay this is going really well I'm gonna apply some brownie grasses okay because you know grasses are not really just green and yellow there are I mean there are dying grasses right so if we're painting nature we should make it look natural I'm gonna get my brown and I'm gonna apply some brownie colors on the fence. Some more highlights of yellow.
also here in the tree. Using yellow, more highlights. And these are suggestions of little flowers. You can add that. Let's highlight some flowers. can create a little plant here Okay, a lot of grass detailing. Okay, and I'm just going to continue that fence right here as if there's one more um, like fence. All right, this looks nice. Okay. I'm gonna add more detail on the sky because I want a little bit of blueness somewhere here. So I'm just gonna apply some blueness. Just like that.
few more highlights. You know, I'm really concentrating on doing the highlights. Yeah, this is good. But oh, this is nice. Okay, I'm just gonna add more detailing on uh, this area. Again, I'm just making my pathway a little more realistic because that's what I want. adding a little bit of white color just to highlight it even more because I'm obsessing over highlights okay, here some white color on the leaves not because there's white but because of the light
Alright, let me check. This is absolutely gorgeous. Absolutely. Just gonna get my yellow for more highlights. I'm gonna get my brown and slightly glaze. Right, yeah, like that. Some areas. Like that. I kinda like it. Just glaze it with brown. To suggest sunset colors. Okay. So here. Okay, this is very, very nice. Okay. I'm gonna apply more dark greens right here because the sun is coming from the left side so the right side should be a little dark I think this is good this is good guys right so I think I'm gonna sign this now because we're done it's quite simple very nice all right so I'm gonna sign right here I'm gonna use my white since I do have a lot of white and we're finished we're finished Yay! we're done guys oh what is this? I don't know if this was flower or what. I think I... Okay, I'm just gonna delete that. Okay, I don't want any of that. All right.
me check. Yep, that's way better. All right, so we're done, guys. I hope you enjoyed this one. And if you if you did, let me know in the comment section below. If you're painting along with me, let me know as well in the comment section below. Show me your painting so that I can show them on my social media. So see you in my next video. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Love you.